Okay, this is a Vizio television. It's a E390-A1. It's a 39-inch uh, LED TV set. What's happening is it, the TV is totally dead. And when we say totally dead, basically what that means is that there's no light, there's no clicking sound coming from the inside like it's trying to come on. It's, it's as if the TV is unplugged. It's totally dead. You hit the power button, absolutely nothing happens. So we're going to troubleshoot this set and uh, find out what kind of problem we're having and where the problem lies. Okay, we flipped it around, we got the back off the television set. As you can see, this is a straight LED television. There's uh, no inverter board and there's no TCOM board. Um, as you can see, uh, this wire coming here from the power supply goes inside of the TV and lights the LEDs. So it's an LED set and this normally uh, which goes to an inverter, I'm sorry, which goes to a TCOM board, goes right, right to the driver boards on the bottom of the TV set, which are located right here on the bottom. These sets are typical for people to spray stuff on the screen, and because the driver boards are on the bottom, uh, it would actually leak inside of the screen and destroy the TV set, destroy the panel. You cannot replace those driver boards in the bottom of the set. You can't see them, but I'm just kind of pointing to them. They're right down here, uh, they're made into the panel. So hopefully this is a dead set. I did notice that uh, somebody tried to spray the screen with something and wipe it clean. So I hope after we fix it, uh, that's not a problem. Okay, as you can see, we have a main board and a power supply board. That's pretty much about it besides the speakers and the keypad. So the first thing that we want to check on a dead set, remember totally dead means no light. Uh, no standby light at the bottom, whether it's red, blue, or green. And there's no clicking sound, no sound, no picture on the screen. There's absolutely nothing. A dead set is as if the TV is totally unplugged. Okay, so uh, we're going to troubleshoot this set uh, and try to troubleshoot it down to the component level. But we're going to start with the key basics. On a dead set, the first thing that you want to check is the AC fuse coming uh, on the power supply board coming off the uh, power cord the power line so we'll just zoom into that okay so there's your power core connector and this is your AC fuse here so we'll check that make sure that's not open okay As you can see, get a little closer look here. Uh, the bolts here, they definitely are marked according to the pins up here on this plug right here. Um, based on the dead set, the only thing that you want to check for is to see if you have uh, these two bolts here, 5.2, which one of these is probably standby. Usually it'll say, you know, STBY, that stands for, for, that stands for standby. Or just check to make sure that you have some voltage on one of these pins right here. Uh, just stick your meter inside the little plug here. Do not stick your meter on this side because you can accidentally show something out if you are getting voltage there. Uh, it's real easy to, to, to slip up and hit something. So I'll take my meter and I'm going to go on this side right here uh, with, my, with my meter probe. Uh, make sure you got some thin probes like that there. It's kind of thin. You can kind of like stick it in each one and check it. So what we'll do, we'll go ahead and check it and see if we have uh, any type of voltage uh, standby uh, it's, uh, evidently here it's, it's like 5.2 or if it just says standby probably 3.3 or something like that but you just want to check and make sure that we have uh, uh, at least about three volts coming from uh, these plugs here one of these at least one or two of these plugs here okay so we'll go ahead and check that okay we'll go ahead and uh, ground our meter uh, we'll just use the uh, cold ground to the chassis, it's cold ground and then we'll go back to this plug here, put our meter on DC volts and with a positive lead we'll check this plug right here now the only ones we'll start from the, we'll, we'll start from the bottom uh, the only ones that we're concerned about are the ones that are labeled 5.2 volts because that's pretty much standby voltage 
let's go on to the main board so everything else can work and they can fire the setup. As you can see, um, let's see if I can zoom in a little bit clearer on that. Five point two volts. Our pins two and three. So we'll go ahead and trouble and we'll go ahead and uh, test those and see if we got voltage coming out of them. Okay, we'll go to pin two. Maybe about five point two volts. Next pin, 5.2. Okay, so we definitely have standby voltage. All these other voltages probably are not present because the television said it's dead. But what that's actually telling us is that this power supply, which is labeled 5.2, and I'm getting 5.2 volts on there, uh, that means that the power supply is working because what happens is it takes its 5.2, takes it to the main board, and the main board uses that to turn the rest of the TV on and the rest of the power supply on. So that's a pretty much easy uh, troubleshoot procedure. If you get the 5 volt standby on the power supply board on the dead set, most likely got a bad main board. If you don't have the 5.2 or whatever the standby voltage is coming from the power supply board, you got a bad power supply board. Another thing too that I forgot to mention before we just assume we kind of narrowed it down to the main board but a couple of things that you should really check um, is the first of all make sure that the actual keypad is working it has voltage going to it and is actually working on the, on the side here this is the keypad with the power and the channel and volume buttons on it and as you can see uh, it's right here on the side I'm zooming in on it that little wire right there a little plug with the three uh, wires on it uh, that's actually going to the main board because uh, sometimes you think about it uh, some TVs the way they're made uh, a lot of TVs they'll when you hit the power button you don't know no, the standby lights red when you plug it in when you hit the power button it turns to blue or green or a lot of times uh, some TVs there's a light and when you hit the power button the light goes out when the picture comes in or it's just the opposite. You know, there's uh, no no light at all until you hit the power button and the light comes on and the picture comes in. So we just double check. We want to make sure that we're getting voltage going to the uh, keypad, and we also want to make sure that we also want to make sure that one of these plugs are is actually changing voltage. Or you, you could probably check resistance also. Just make sure it's unplugged. But uh, we want to make sure the voltage is going there and make sure that when we hit one of these buttons here, especially the power button, uh, that one of the voltages are going to change as soon as we hit the button. Okay, we got 1.9 uh, 1 volts, almost 2 volts, uh, bottom pin, up in there, and 2 volts on the top pin. So the middle pin is probably ground, the middle wire. We'll hit the power button on these buttons. Uh, as you can see, you got a little change there. Okay. Power button is no change. We'll go to the one. We'll go to the pin on the bottom here. Okay. I'll hit the power button, and that's changing. So that's a pretty good sign. The keypad is working. Uh, I have ran to it's rare, but I have ran to a few sets in which the uh, actual keypad was bad and the power button was bad, and you have to change the buttons. So with that being said, the next thing we want to check before we assume that we have a bad uh, main board, which most likely we do, I just want to keep in mind that some of these checks are very crucial uh, with troubleshooting uh, 
LCD televisions down to the board level. So now that we've confirmed that the keypad is working, our next step is just to go ahead and just double check and make sure that uh, we're getting a power on signal from the main board to the power supply board. So we'll go back to that first plug that we checked on the power supply. And one of those, this is labeled. Some of them are labeled, but this is a good set because the, the, actual, the actual plugs are labeled. And one should say power supply on or on off or something like that. So let's go double check and see which pin it is okay pin 13 uh, which should be the top one that's on off and then we have pin 4 which is like if you go from the bottom is 1, 2, 3, 4 uh, power supply on so what we want to do is we want to put our meter on there and DC volts and it will hit the power button we want to make sure that there's uh, no change um, the power supply on and we can also check the on off that I guess also the on off is actually to turn the uh, LEDs on to turn the uh, transformer and the uh, uh, LED circuit on but power supply on that's our main thing that we want to definitely check make sure that 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 is not changing when we hit the power button okay so we'll go ahead and check that Okay, as we notice from the label right here, pin four is the uh, power supply on. So the first pin has no connection. Five volts, we know we got those, that uh, five volts already uh, still. Five volts again, and then the green plug, the green wire there, that should be the power supply on. So what we'll do, our meters on DC voltage, we'll stick our lead in there. And we'll hit the power supply button and it should change at 2.3 or 2.5 or 3.3, something like that. As you can still see, it's still at uh, almost less than 0.1 volts. Okay, so by not, not changing, we can also go up here and check this. This is the another on and off. Check that one. That shouldn't, be, that shouldn't change either. So now we'll hit the power button on the side here. No voltage change at all. So that pretty much confirms that we do have a bad main board. So we'll look a little bit further into it and see if we can find anything definite on there uh, as far as uh, component level. 